dear students so in this lecture video we are going to discuss about a problem on turning moment diagrams of flywheel so we all know that turning moment diagram is nothing but it is a graphical representation of the turning moment or crank effort values for various positions of the crank so in turning moment diagram in x axis the crank positions will be noted and along the y axis turning moment values or torque values will be noted so here the turning moment diagram for a multi cylinder engine has been drawn to a scale of 1 mm is equal to 4500 newton meter along y axis and in x axis the scale as 1 mm as 2.4 degree okay the intercepted areas between output torque curve and mean resistance line taken in order from one end are 342 23 likewise some data is are given uh, these are the fluctuation data above and below the main resistance torque line when the engine is running at 150 rpm if the mass of the flywheel mass 1000 kg and the total fluctuation of speed does not exceed 3 percentage of the mean speed so coefficient of fluctuation of speed value is given as 3 percentage so 0.03 it is asked to find out the minimum value of the radius of gyration k so this is the given turning moment diagram so the fluctuations above and below the mean resistance torque line are given in the problem so for the available data we can easily draw the turning moment diagram so these are all the given data so in x axis 1 mm is equal to 2.4 degree it is given in the problem so to substitute that in the analytical uh, uh, formula uh, in si unit 2.4 degree is 0.0419 radian and in y axis 1 mm is given as 4500 newton meter so in the turning moment diagram each 1 mm square of area will represent 4500 in y axis and 0.0419 in x axis so each 1 mm square area of the given turning moment diagram will represent 188.4956 newton meter and speed is given mass of the flywheel is given fluctuation of speed value is given it is asked to find out the value of minimum radius of gyration that is k value so in the turning moment diagram fluctuation values are given but we don't know the value of energy stored at the points a b c d and up to i so let us assume the energy saved at point a is e so by taking the energy value at point a as reference we can calculate the value for energy stored at different points from b to i because we know the area under this curves fluctuation values okay so let the energy at point a is e so energy at point b will be e plus 342 positive fluctuation above the mean resistance torque line so then energy at c b point la e plus 342 undrundathu b to c la or negative fluctuation undrundathu so minus 23 so the resultant as e plus 319 similarly at point d C point ले रंदे D point ला ओर एक पॉजिटिव फ्लक्चुएशन मेल रंदे थे, सो अदन आले समेशन अस E plus 564. Similarly at point E, मुंदन अ पॉइंट ला सेव आर रंदे एनर्जी 564. Then from point D to E ला नेगेटिव फ्लक्चुएशन, सो माइनस 303. The resultant at point E is E plus 261. Then at point F plus 115, so the resultant is E plus 376. then at point g e f to g is 232 negative la irundirukum keela so adanal resultant is e plus 144 then at point h plus 227 so e plus 371 at point i la minus 164 so e plus 207 so now we know the energy at various points a b c d e f g h i so from these values we can take the maximum energy 
is at point D. Okay. So the value is E plus 564. So this can be taken as maximum energy E1. Then the minimum energy is at point A that is capital E. So here maximum E plus 564. Tha. E minus la in the data on Kadakila, so the Nala irkadale minimum energy value is at point A, that is E. We know that the formula for maximum fluctuation of energy del E is equal to maximum energy minus minimum energy. So, if we maximum energy is E plus 564 and minimum energy is E. So, del E is 564 millimeter square, but we require the maximum fluctuation of energy value in the unit of Newton meter. Okay, so already we have calculated 1 mm square is equal to how much amount of Newton meter of dinner from the scalar conversion. So 564 into 1 mm square is equal to 188.4956 Newton meter. So 564 mm square is equal to 106311.4954 Newton meter. Also we know that the maximum fluctuation of energy formula del E is equal to I omega square C s where I is mass moment of inertia, omega is mean angular velocity, C s is coefficient of fluctuation of speed. Okay. So the formula for I mass moment of inertia m k square mean angular velocity 2 pi n by 60 where n is the speed of engine at the considered uh, situation. So, we have calculated the value for del E as 106311.4954. Mass of the flywheel is given in the problem as 1000 kg. Engine speed as 150 rpm. Coefficient of fluctuation of speed is 0 0.03. By substituting all the known values in this formula, now we can calculate the value for the required minimum radius of gyration of the flywheel. K as 3.7897 meter. This is all about the problem. Thank you.